Welcome back again. Hello. Past tense is the topic now. Uh, in Professional English 1, and my name is Marco Mesa, as you know. Okay, let's start talking about what we are going to do in this presentation. We are going to review the past tense patterns, the verb to be and other verbs, and do some practice. Okay, what are the differences between the present and the past? In the present, we say, I'm in class today, so the action that is uh, expressed with this sentence takes effect in the present, is being done or happening in the present. I was in class yesterday by its time refers to something that happened in the past and that has already finished. Okay, I was in class yesterday. You may notice, you, I, I know, I'm sure you can notice that the change in the verb is notorious. Am changes to was in the case of the verb to be. In the present tense, in the present tense, we have I am in class today and it changes to was. Um, John is here today, Samantha was here yesterday. We are happy today, we were happy yesterday. And remember, we have subject, verb and complement. Okay, in, in the present, in red, we have the keyword, the time or that gives us an indication, a clear indication that is the present. In blue, in the past tense, in, in the second column, we have the keywords that give us indications about the time that it was done or what performed the uh, action in, in the sentence. Yesterday is the, the day before the one we are in. In singular, I, we have I was, you were, she was, he was, it was. And in the plural we have we were, you were, they were. Okay? As you know, um, we is the plural of I, you has singular and plural meaning, and they is the plural of she, of he, and of it. Okay, so keep this in mind. For example, I am at work today. We change that to the past tense and we have I was at work yesterday. Okay. In the present we have she is in the pool today. In the past we have she was in the pool last week. Okay. Uh, remember that we change the time word to the uh, according tense. The moon was huge last night and we had previously the moon is huge tonight. Okay. The water is warm today. Okay, please write a past tense sentence out of the first one. As we have seen previously, we need to change the verb to be and the time word. So we have the water was warm yesterday. Okay? The water was warm yesterday. For example, the Janine is in her class today is a present tense sentence. And the past form is going to be Janine was in her class on Thursday morning. Let's keep going. In negative, with the verb to be, we have I was not in class yesterday. That is a past tense form. As a, and you may notice that we only need to add the particle not and after the verb to be. The informal form is wasn't. Okay, uh, we have more examples here. I was not in class yesterday. I wasn't in class yesterday. As I mentioned, it's informal. Okay, she was not in class yesterday. She wasn't in class yesterday. Okay, wasn't is informal and was works with I, she, he, and it. Uh, the second form of the verb to be in the past where you were not home last night, you weren't home last night. That's informal. 
where weren't is the informal, we, you, they were not or weren't. Okay? Um, remember, in the present, the verb to be has three forms. Am, is, and are. In the past, it just has two forms. Was and were. Okay? In the negative, was not, were not, or wasn't, or weren't. Okay. Please, write the corresponding verb to be Robert is in class this morning, but he, yes, was not is the correct answer. They are in London tonight, but, and we have last night to guide us to write a correct answer. Yes, they were not. They, because that's the plural, were and not are the corresponding forms of the verb to be in the past tense. I am happy, but what about just today? Yes, that's correct. I was not happy yesterday. The weather is nice this week, but the weather is the third person singular and the corresponding form is was. It was not nice last week. Okay? For interrogative sentences, we have, uh, like in the present, only to put the verb to be before the subject. Were you in class yesterday? Okay, where is the plural form and you is the second singular person or all the plural, uh, sorry, the, the second plural form. Okay, when we have just no question, do you remember? A just no question is a question that can be answered with just using yes or no. Okay, were you in class yesterday? We have a short answer that is also kind of informal. Yes, we were. Okay, remember, in this case, we are not doing grammar, we are doing a dialogues. That is why we are changing the subject, okay? We are asking in the second person and answering in the first person. And it, the, the full form is, yes, we were in class yesterday, or no, we were not in class yesterday, okay? And we have the negative form, no, we weren't. And here we have, no, we were not in class yesterday. That's the full form. Was Jan at the library last week? Yes, she was. Or the full form, yes, she was at the library last week. Okay, the short answer is kind of informal and it is very, very rarely used in academic English or technical writing. Okay, was your sister at the car park? The short answer is, yes, she was, and the long answer, yes, she was at the car park. Okay, remember that car park is the same arc as the um, station in, the, the garage, the parking lot. Was the dog at the bed yesterday? Bed is for veterinary. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. The, both forms of informal. The formal form is yes, it was at the bed yesterday. Or no, it was not at the bed yesterday. About the information questions. Remember, information questions are questions where we need to um, give more information when answering more information than it was in the original question. Okay. We need to give specific information according to the question word. Where was Will, sorry, where was Bill last winter? Okay, we have where be and the subject. Do you remember is the same structure we have in the present, uh, the only thing that changes is the form of the verb to be. 
in this case was. Okay, so this question requires an answer with additional information. And in the short answer, we give just the additional information. For example, in Mexico, in this case, in Mexico. Where was Will last winter? In Mexico. With a long answer, we have, he was in Mexico last winter, a full sentence, subject, verb, and complement. Another example, we have, where were they last month? Again, we have the question word, the verb to be, and the subject. And the short answer is the additional information that is needed on vacation. And the full answer is they were on vacation last month. Okay? Let's do. What is the form of the verb to be that fits in this question? We need a negative answer. Yes, and Andrea is the third person singular, so we need was. The short answer, no, she wasn't. And the full sentence, she was not in class on Friday. In the second sentence, we can also give additional information. F uh, let's, uh, let's see. Was Andrea in class on Friday? No, she wasn't. She was at home, for example. Again, you and Sarah is the subject, the, the noun phrase in this case, that is acting as the subject in the sentence. And you and Sarah is plural, and the corresponding form is where? Were you and Sarah at the like last week? The answer in affirmative, yes, they were, no, they weren't in the negative form. So we have, we were, yes, we were, we were at the lake last week. Okay. Nina, again, is the third person singular and the corresponding form is was. And, uh, short answer, no, she wasn't. She was not with me. Okay, do you remember that we said that contractions are for informal English? So please keep this in mind. The past tense of regular verbs is quite easy to construct. We just need to add D, ED, or IED according to the case. Okay, let's practice a bit. We walk it to school, the present form is walk, and the past tense is walk it. Um, we walk to school every day is a present sentence. We walk to school. The, the form of the verb, the infinitive in this case, because it's the plural, is walk. In the simple past, we have we walked to school yesterday. Okay, we have changed the verb to the past form just by adding ed. In the simple present, for example, we have another sentence, Jim walks to school every day. Jim walked to school yesterday. Again, we are changing the key words, the time words, to an appropriate, to indicate the tense. Walk it yesterday. Walks every day. Okay? We have some forms to construct the past tense of regular verbs. We add ed and I, you, he, she, it, we, they, all the persons, in the, the grammatical persons, the grammar persons, work with one form of the verb, walk it. So let's try. Every day I brush my teeth. Yesterday, Okay, we need to use the same verb, brush. What is the, the past tense form of brush? Yes, brushed. I brushed my teeth yesterday or yesterday I brushed my teeth. Okay, I would like to point out that normally yesterday is going to be followed by a comma. 
yesterday, comma, I brushed my teeth. But in some instances, the, the sentence as it is on the screen is correct. Every day, Julie plays the piano. Again, we need to use the past form of the verb, and we have yesterday as the time word. Yesterday, she played the piano. George cooks every day. Remember that in the present, uh, the third person singular adds an S to the verb. He also cooked it yesterday. Again, cooks changes to cook it. Bob and Helen were here yesterday. Okay? Expressions that will give us uh, a hint of the things we are talking about, or we are talking on. Yesterday is a clear indication of the past tense. Again, we have Bob was here. And we can say yesterday, yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening, and more expressions, those using uh, times like uh, at 7 p.m. yesterday evening or whatever. We also have expressions that indicate the past tense that are formed with last and more words. Let's see. Uh, last night. Okay. Last will work easily with long periods of time. Last month, last year, last century, last millennium, and also with seasons. Last winter, last summer, and days of the week. Last Monday, last Wednesday, last Friday, last Sunday. Okay? Keep in mind, last works with night, long periods of time, seasons, days of the week. Examples could be Eve was here last night, last week, last month, last year, and etc., as we have already said. Yesterday will match easily and work perfectly with morning, afternoon, and evening. So we can use yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening when necessary. Again, we have ago, that is a clear indication of the past tense, and ago indicates a period of time before or uh, before something happened. For example, Omar was here five minutes ago. That means that in the past tense, five minutes backwards, he was here. Omar was here two hours ago, and so on. Six days, a month, a year, ten years ago, okay? Uh, with the length of time, five minutes ago, two hours ago, six days ago, etc. Okay, we have various forms to use ago. We went to the movies next or last afternoon. Okay, went is the form of the past tense, and remember, went is an irregular form of the verb. We went to the movies last afternoon. I called you yesterday or last Thursday. Yesterday, Thursday, or last Thursday. Obviously, is last Thursday, as we have seen previously. Her friends lived in South America, obviously, last year. The weather was nice, yes, last night. It is an irregular verb and it changes the spelling when it is written in the past. Eight. It, eight. Okay? Go went, as we have already seen in one of the previous slides. I go home early every afternoon. I went home early this afternoon. 
Okay, this afternoon uh, can easily indicate past, present, or future. It is the context that gives the correct uh, time uh, information it gives. Have and had. Have is also is a verb, of course, it's, it indicates um, possession, as we said before, and it also gives information for have breakfast, have lunch, etc. And it is also an auxiliary. We have the auxiliary or for the present perfect tense, have, and for the past perfect tense, had. So this word uh, has many uses. I have classes every Friday. I had classes last Friday. Last is the word that gives us information about the tense in the second example. For interrogative sentences, we need to use the auxiliary, as you have already seen in, in the previous class. Uh, <clears throat> did you have classes yesterday? Did goes before the subject, and the verb goes in the infinitive. Do you remember ASIC, auxiliary, subject, and infinitive? The answer, again, we are um, in, the, in the context of a dialogue. That's why we are changing the subject. Did you have class yesterday, classes yesterday? Yes, I did. Yes, I had classes yesterday. Okay? Did my go to the pub yesterday? Again, we have ASIC, auxiliary, subject, and infinitive. No, he didn't. He, as the long answer, he didn't go to the pub yesterday. No, he didn't. Okay, that is the informal form. He did not go to the pub yesterday is the formal expression. Did the cat caught a mouse last night? Yes, it did, is the short answer. And the long answer is yes, it caught a mouse last night. Caught is the form of catch, remember. The past tense form. Did your sister climb the, th the tree by herself? Again, ASIC. The short answer, yes, she did. The long answer, yes, she climbed the tree by herself. For information questions, we have, where did Bill stay last winter? We have the question were, the auxiliary, the subject, and the infinitive. Do you remember the quasic? Again, it is working in the past tense also. The short answer is the place in Mexico. And the long answer, he stayed in Mexico last winter. Stayed is the past form of stay. It's a regular verb. When did the film on TV end yesterday? So the question uh, word, the auxiliary did, the, the subject, the film on TV, and the infinitive is M. We have again Quasic. The short answer at midnight, and the long answer it finished at midnight. Okay. Let's convert, let's complete these sentences with a correct form of the verb in the past. Jenny, we need to write the past tense of understand. And if you remember, understand will have understood as its past tense form. Jenny understood everything in the lesson. The hospital, we have the verb to be. The, the hospital is the third person singular and the corresponding form is was. The hospital was crowded the whole day yesterday. Some African countries not grow. Grow is 
The present infinitive and the past tense of this irregular verb is GRU. But in the negative we need to use the auxiliary and the infinitive. Did not grow. In example 4, when, and we need to use again the verb to be. Your first visit to Mexico. Which is the subject? Your first visit to Mexico is the subject of this sentence. So, the corresponding form of the verb to be is was. When was your first visit to Mexico? Now we have <coughs> how often cook and be. Okay, we need to use an auxiliary in this case, how often did is the auxiliary for the past tense. How often did you? What comes next? Yes, the infinitive of the verb. How often did you cook spaghetti when you were in your parents' house? Remember, the corresponding form of the verb to be for you is where. Okay. Nobody, nobody, and, and we have to use believe and be, okay. Most of the time, nobody is considered a, <clears throat> a set and it is normally used as a singular word. Nobody believed, because the past tense of believe is believed, a regular verb, and the water is uh, singular, so the corresponding is was. Nobody believed the water was so smelly. Smelly is a, an adjective, okay? The last time we, and we need to use see and explode. Okay, this is an affirmative sentence, so we need to use the past form. So, and exploded. So is a regular, explode is regular. My wife, and again we need bring and not find as the form of the verbs in this sentence. My wife, what is the past tense of bring? Yes, it's brought. My wife brought my lunch, but she, and when we are making negative sentences in the in, in English, we need to use the auxiliary did, did and not. So, she did not find me this noon. That means that we are using the infinitive of the verb um, find, okay? My wife brought my lunch, but she did not find me this noon. It is or it's unbelievable. The thief, escape is the verb we need to use, and escape is a regular verb, so we have the thief escaped from the police by using a woman's costume. For 10, it is possible to, uh, sorry, in the present tense, no, not the present tense. We, we have yesterday as the time word. The verb to be and the form of a start in the past. Let's see. It, it obviously go with was. It was possible to hear when the machine started to work yesterday. Start is a regular verb. Okay. Thank you and I hope seeing you next time.